Hey guys, Steve Welcher, BMW Toyota in Nashville. Wanted to show you guys something that's really cool on the new Tundra, the digital rear view mirror. So uh, the new Tundra has a digital rear view mirror that you can use in case you have uh, stuff loaded up in the back, something like that. Um, I do want to point out that the camera is on uh, the top right over here uh, is where your camera is for the uh, digital rear view mirror. Uh, depending on how you have the uh, the vehicle setup, of course, you could have the other camera that's right beside it, which actually has a view uh, for the bed. So those are different cameras. So um, popping over here into the vehicle, I'm going to go ahead and start it here. Once I do that, you're going to see up here, you've got your little house uh, looking things there. That's for your home link. Obviously, those are the garage doors that are down there, of course. Um, so, you know, just kind of giving you an idea of what those look like. Um, so kind of taking a peek here and uh, obviously you get to, to reflect and say, see things. Um, but <laughs> a little bit of the inner workings, right? So I got a little gimbal here that, uh, that I'm using, but I do want to show you guys here. So you hit this button, you're going to get your setup mode, right? So you can jump into different, different options in your setup mode that you can do. Um, this is while you are not in digital mode, you could turn on or turn off your home link, set it up, change the language, turn on or off the self dimming functions in your digital rear view mirror. If you want to go digital, boom, digital right there, guys. So you can still see all your home link stuff right here. You still have your setup. And now when you hit this button, now you have the rest of these options that you can bounce through and you can still go into the same ones that you went into before, but now you have brightness you can go brighter you can go darker wherever you want to go there you have up or down so if you want to go up or down you have these two little arrows that are right here you can go up or down raise that up um, obviously you can pop up you can go left or you can go right of course you can even tilt it so if you want to tilt it just a little bit one way just a little bit the other way put it in the middle for about even you can do that you want to go zoom you need to get a little bit closer you can kind of do that. I'm trying to stay out of your view here a little bit. So, but yeah, you can zoom in, zoom out, hit your next one. That's your uh, auto dimming. Obviously, it goes into your home link setup. All of that stuff is very, very easy to function with, of course. Very easy to play with. Um, and if you have stuff behind you in the cab, uh, some stuff in the bed where you can't quite see behind it, it's definitely a really, well, I'm right here, a really cool feature to be able to use on your Tundra. So um, definitely wanted to show you guys that. That is the new digital rear view mirror on your 2022 Tundra. Um, no, it'll be on the 23 as well. No, it is not in all of your Tundras, but uh, definitely if you have that digital mirror, you are gonna be really happy that you do. Um, do wanna to mention too that uh, um, you don't have to use it, right? So if you just want to, you just pop this back down like, like a normal mirror. And you're going to use this just like a normal mirror. You do not have to use the digital if you don't want to. You never have to use it if you don't want to, right? So um, definitely let me know what you guys think. Steve Welch, BMW Toyota, downtown Nashville. You guys have a beautiful day. Uh, and definitely enjoy your new Tundra. Have a good one.